Welcome back to Postcast from St. Petersburg. Today we're visiting one of the oldest buildings in St. Petersburg, the Menshikov Palace. Well, it's hard to spend very long in St. Petersburg without developing something of an interest of Peter the First, Peter the Great, the Tsar of, of Russia. And uh, Alexander Nyenshikov was one of Peter's uh, greatest friends. He was one of his uh, playmates when uh, Peter set up in Kriyavrazhenskaya and up in uh, Pereslavl building his navy. And throughout his life he was very close and he uh, captured a, a Zob from the Tartars down in the south. And he had quite a bad reputation, uh, Alexander Mienshikov, that is. He uh, was involved with various looting uh, of areas that were, that were taken by Peter. And Peter had to reprimand him several times after stories came back to him. But he was a great friend of Peter. Peter always made up with him. And after, after Peter died, he was uh, actually de facto ruler of Russia for a couple of years having helped to put Catherine onto the throne. So here we see Alexander Mienshikov himself just outside the palace. The palace itself was the first stone building to be built in St. Petersburg. This is the palace, the, the dark yellow building, uh, built in 1710. Sadly, because of the current uh, coronavirus pandemic, it's necessary to tour the palace uh, only as part of a, a guided tour. Uh, you can't walk around it individually. I booked such a tour, which will be starting in 10 minutes, uh, but it may restrict what I can actually show you on the vlog. Once both Peter I and Catherine had died, there was really nobody left to support Alexander Menshikov from his uh, growing number of enemies amongst the boyars and nobles of Russia. And so he had his property seized from him and he was sent with his family off to Siberia. Once uh, the Tsar then became Peter II and then Tsarina Anna. And under Tsarina Anna, the first cadet corps was set up and they were based in this, this building, the Mienshikov Palace. It became the, the building for the first cadet corps. It later became a museum of the first cadet corps. And as late as 1980, it was passed across the Hermitage Museum, which is why it is now a part of the Hermitage Museum. The cadet corps exhibitions that were in there at the time were spread around the other hermitage buildings and this building concentrated on trying to recreate life during the Petrine period, life during uh, the life of Peter the Great. I'd like to draw attention to this lathe because this is actually the lathe that Peter used uh, to make the cabinet, well, as well as other things, but the cabinet that we're looking at here. One of the wonderful things about Peter was the, uh, the breadth of practical skills which he engaged with throughout his life. He, he really, he was a man that loved practical application.
Well, that was the Menshikov Palace. And certainly for me, it's helped give me a little bit of a, a flavor of what the, the buildings, or at least the, the greatest buildings were like in Peter's time. Uh, the vaulted uh, ceilings on the ground floor, the ceramic stoves everywhere, Orientalism on, on the top floor. I didn't take uh, videos in all of the rooms, but there were a lot with uh, Chinese ink paintings and uh, Chinese decorations, which was, uh, which was a surprise to me. Uh, so there we go. Of course, Menshikov has gone down negatively in history, but one thing that was very clear looking around, seeing the, the monograms where, where Alexander Menshikov and, and Peter Pyovova's initials were, were mixed together, uh, was the great friendship that existed between Peter the Great, Peter the First, and Alexander Menshikov. And in my opinion, anybody that Peter the Great loved so greatly must have had something going for him. So that's all from Postcards from St. Petersburg this week. Uh, we'll see you next week where we should be making a trip to Viborg.